I just wanted to share some of the tips that I use when I'm shopping for my shoes honestly I feel like shoe shopping should be pretty easy but for me it's never been easy and when it comes to shopping I like to make sure I'm looking for good quality the right pricing the right style and it's always been so difficult for me to find those things in shoes especially so I'm gonna go ahead and share some of the tips let's go ahead and get into the video I wanted to start off with athletic shoes and the first brand I want to share are under Armour, I get um, free shoes from the university that I work with. They're sponsored by Under Armour, and these are the hovers. We had hovers last year. I got a size five last year, and I was really nervous that they weren't gonna fit me because they give me multiple shoes. So I would have been sad if they none of them would have been able to fit me, but these are a size five in women's, and I never fit like a size five in women's in any other shoe besides Under Armour. And I know that sometimes they carry a size four because I have a pair of size fours, and I don't know, they just fit me, so I'm excited about that. The next brand that I wanted to share with you guys are Nike. These are the Air 270s, and these are in kids' sizes, so I wear a size two. I love them because one, they're affordable since they're from the kids' sizes. Two, they are always gonna fit me. Kid sizes, obviously, I feel like if I don't if I don't fit the kid sizes, like what shoe will fit me? So Thankfully, I can fit these and then three they're just like cute So sometimes you get really lucky and you can find models of shoes that look like they're just You know from the women's section and not from the kids sections. This is a pretty neutral color So I just thought it was pretty cool. These are the first pair of 270s that I purchased I don't have the laces in them right now because I'm cleaning my shoes, but they I bought these when they first came out and I bought they're white so white's really in right now for sneakers so they were really expensive in my opinion for like a child's shoe um and these actually run a little bit smaller than these ones so i don't know what, what's up with that but these this is a perfect example of like why i'm so lucky to have the option to shop in the kids section for shoes is because this is full price i bought them online since i already knew my shoe size and they were almost like a, a little over a hundred dollars and these are literally they were a quarter of the price because I bought them at the Nike outlet in Washington when I, I got really lucky with these and I actually like these ones better because they fit a little bit better I used to be embarrassed to shop in the kid sizes because I'm not a kid so just like my denim pants but honestly like I'll take this deal any day in in my opinion I do think that shoes that are like over a hundred dollars for like athletic sneakers that I'm gonna ruin anyways are expensive and to me because I've never paid more than a hundred dollars for a pair of sneakers that were for everyday use so I got really lucky with these um, even though I thought they were expensive and these were of steel so obviously when you're shopping in the kids shoe section I, you have to just do a little bit of digging because you have to get past like the bulky looking shoes, the Velcro, the light up shoes, the squeaky shoes, the whatever, the unicorn boots, like you just have to get past all that stuff and then you find like little gems like this and you're so happy. Moving right along into casual shoes, I like to wear these because they make me look a little bit more put together. So. Um, I have a couple pairs that I want to share with you guys and a couple of brands that I want to talk about. So there are two brands that I feel like you can't go wrong with, which are Converse and Vans. Converse I wear size one, Vans I wear size two. They just will always have your size because they make the kids models look exactly the same as the adult models, so you can't really go wrong. Um, if you're looking for a luxury shoe, if you're into that, then I would check Nordstrom or Saks Fifth Avenue. Um, these are my Burberry shoes. They have Velcro on them. I don't want to contradict myself because I would typically never buy something with Velcro, but I just thought that this print was so cute and um, the front is bulky, so it does look pretty bulky on me, but I think they're cute anyways. And if somebody thinks I look nine, then I just look nine with like really great style. So, sorry. And the last brand that I have to share with you for casual shoes are Steve Madden. So I can't buy sneakers from Steve Madden they have a separate website for Madden kids and Madden girls. These, obviously, they're really dirty. I've worn them to death. These are just called the J Beals. Um, I don't think 
Okay, these are a size two. I wear these for like kind of business casual events. Obviously, I wouldn't do that right now because they're just kind of dirty. So I just wear them for casual wear. But these are Madden Kids. Um, super cheap. These are exactly like those shoes, except for they have a wedge in them. And then these look exactly, almost exactly like the women's sizes. So the only difference is that the women's size has a zipper on this side and a zipper on this side. Um, obviously, because I have a smaller foot, I don't, I'm not really upset that these only come with one zipper. And a lot of the times kids shoes will come with a zipper on the inside part of the foot. Um, these are on the outside, but usually the kids will come on the inside part of the foot like on boots or like sneakers or anything like that. And so that's how you can tell that they're kids, but these are also a size two. One thing that I did want to mention is that even though I wear a size four or five in the Under Armour shoes, I really don't wear that size in any other sneakers. And I, even though I wear a size four in women's heels, I don't wear a size four in women's shoes most of the time. So that's just something that I would look into and you just kind of have to try things on to see what works for you. Moving on to sandals, I had a really hard time finding a perfect pair of sandals in the women's section. And thank the Lord that they make a size four in women's sandals and heels because they usually start women's shoe sizes at a size five. Thank God that they make them because I don't know, like I guess I would just be wearing like pink and glitter unicorn sandals if I just didn't have what Nordstrom provides. So. Nordstrom is literally the first place that I look for sandals all the time. They have brands like Franco Sardo, they have luxury brands, and they also have Steve Madden, and I fit the sandals in Steve Madden Women's. So I just wanted to share a couple of sandals that I have. These are Franco Sardo. They're just like a nude sandal. They're really comfortable, so I suggest this brand if you have a size four shoe. These are my Steve Madden sandals. They're obviously kind of a platform. Uh, these are women's too, and they're a size four. So I got these at Nordstrom, and that's just where you have to kind of search when you're looking for something that's new in the like a newer trend, you just search there. You can expect to find a pair of sandals from Nordstrom from anywhere from like $80 range to however much money you have. Okay, another good place to look besides Nordstrom is Nordstrom Rack. I know it's the same kind of, but not really because they have different brands there. And these are actually the first pair that I have ever bought from Nordstrom Rack. And these are called, these are the brand Charles by Charles David. I've only seen it once. These are the only pairs I have from this brand specifically, but I thought that this was like a staple because it's just a neutral color wedge, perfect for spring or weddings or any other kind of event, but this is like something that was needed in my closet um, and I found it at Nordstrom Rack for a fraction of the price. You can expect to buy a pair of sandals from Nordstrom Rack for around $40 to $100. Typically, I've spent around $50 for every pair of sandals that I've purchased from Nordstrom Rack. So there's just like a side point for pricing. If you're looking for just like a regular old sandal that you can wear to the beach or you just feel like you need something that you don't feel bad getting uh, ruining, then I would suggest Javianas. I wear a size 33, 34, but I just bought them in Marina Del Rey. There's like a shop there. Um, they also have one in Huntington Beach. So I would su suggest there if you guys are looking for a pair of just like regular sandals. So as I've grown into my later 20s, I was in dire need of some professional shoes. I actually searched at Nordstrom Rack first because I've had really amazing luck finding flats there. A couple of brands that I suggest from there are Franco Sardo and Abound. I think the Brown to Band is just a Nordstrom Rack brand, but they're very affordable and super comfortable and I just needed a nice flat black um, slip-on that I could wear and look more professional or a little bit more put together. And I'm going to show you guys my two Franco Sardo flats. Um, these ones are my most recent purchase, but they're so cute. They're snakeskin. They have like this silver detail. These are a size four. Um, actually, these are not Franco Sardo. These are 14th and Union. This is the other brand that I wanted to share. They just came in a Franco Sardo box. Anyways, um, so these are also from Nordstrom Rack. They're around 50-ish dollars. And then these are Franco Sardo also. Those aren't Franco Sardo. These are Franco Sardo. They're just really comfortable. These sandals are Franco Sardo, so it's just so comfy. Like whatever they use for the cushion, I love it a lot. Can I just say how difficult it actually is to shop for an adult size shoe in a woman child's body? Like 
My foot is a size four. I'm literally the size of an eight year old and people expect me to dress like I'm almost 30. It doesn't make any sense, so it's really hard to navigate. So hopefully some of these tips help you out because I know that I've had struggle trying to find some of the things that I have found and hopefully I can help you guys. Heels. I hate heels. I, I hate heels. And I hate saying that publicly because I just, I wish I liked them more because they, obviously they make me a little bit taller. They don't make me that much taller, which is why I feel like, yeah, maybe if they took me from like 5'1 to like, five five that would make a difference but i am not tall at all so i feel like it takes me it doesn't even make me as tall as five one so it doesn't really matter to me that much i always turn to nordstrom and nordstrom rack for heels because those are just the easiest places to shop nordstrom rack i got my very first pair i don't even want to show you the inside they're kind of messed up you can kind of already see but i bought these years ago the outside is okay i feel like i can get them fixed to make them kind of new again but these are bcbg they're just cute they're like oh god they are just like really cute they're pointy they're nude they're neutral they make me look really they don't make me look tall actually but they are just so cute so i bought these a while ago they had to have been like under a hundred dollars because this was early in the shoe game and i really couldn't afford anything past a hundred dollars when i was 18 so the next pair I recently got, um, maybe a year or two ago, Steve Madden again, size four. They carry it all the time, Nordstrom. They're a little bit more pricey, but they come in so many different colors and so many, so many different materials. This one's like suede-ish and they also come in a block heel. So I don't actually mind these as much because even though they are like pretty like sloped, um, this block heel is like, makes it so much more comfortable. Moving along to boots, my favorite. A couple of brands that I enjoy are Hunter Boots, Treasure and Bond, 14th and Union, and Bear Claw. So these Hunter Boots are actually kid sizes. So they're a size 33 um, or a size two US and I love them. So, I mean, obviously it doesn't rain in California that often, but one day it'll be like 80 degrees. The next day it'll be like pouring rain and then it'll be 80 degrees the next day. So people think it's really aggressive when I wear those shoes to walk my dog in the morning, but honestly I paid for them. So I'm just gonna wear them. So I need everybody to just mind their own business. Um, and then the next shoe it, or the next boot is from 14th and Union. I love these, these are a staple. They're like velvety, suede -y. They're like suede um, and I've ruined them because I've walked in the rain in these a lot um, to and from like events. These are a size four. I love them so much. They're just so cute and they go with everything. They kind of go up to my knee. So love those. Treasure and Bond. It's a Nordstrom brand. These have like cute little detail, pointy, neutral. Like this is like a floppy. It's not really structured. Um, it's supposed to be like a sock boot and it's really comfortable. It has a zipper up the back. These are in women's sizes, size four again. Um, and then they're really comfortable because they're just short. And then the last boot I have for you guys is, are these um, bear claw boots. So story with this is that I went to New York City in the dead of winter, there was slush and mush on the ground. It was disgusting. And for some reason I thought that my paper thin boots were gonna hold up in the streets of New York. They just didn't, long story short. We went to Macy's, went to the kids section, bought these bear claw snow boots or whatever these are for $40 and I didn't have to ruin a pair of expensive Uggs. So I'm really happy about these. They're so comfortable. They even have like kind of like a platform. So they make me look a little bit taller. And I don't know, I just still wear them around. Sometimes when it's like chilly, like if it's 60 degrees in the morning, it's a little bit chilly. I'll walk my dog in these and look ridiculous. So. I hope this was helpful for some of you guys because I've really struggled to find shoes that fit me. So I hope that going through some of my shoes and the sizes that I wear and where I buy them from are helpful to you guys that have the same issues that I do. Please like this video, subscribe, comment if you guys want to because that's fun for me and I hope that you guys have a great day. Bye.